Hey, I'm Donnie, and I'm gonna explain the basic controls in the dungeons. The X button is for using the weapon in your right hand. If you press the X button while holding down the L1 button, you'll attack with the projectile weapon in your left hand. If you hold down the X button for a long time, when you release it, you'll do a charge attack. Use it at critical moments. Pressing the R1 button will defend you against the enemy's attack. And if you press the X button while holding down the R1 button, you can pick up a monster close to you and then throw him by pressing the X button again. Cool! In the same way, you can pick up and throw things like the big rocks that are in the dungeons. Try chucking them at the monsters. To advance to the next floor in the dungeons, you need the gate key item. One of the monsters will have the gate key hidden on him. So if you defeat him, you'll get the key. But of course you won't know if he has the key or not till you defeat him. And the gate key for each dungeon is a different item. Try not to get them mixed up. When exploring the dungeons, you can switch to the map view by pressing the select button. Pressing the button will switch between off, small display, and large display. So pick which one you want. You can also find floor maps and magic crystals down in the dungeons. With a floor map, you can see the whole layout of the floor you're on. A magic crystal will show you the positions of the monsters and treasure. The map view will be useful for finding both of them. The floor map and the magic crystal won't work anymore when you go to another floor, so you'll have to look for new ones. If you get near a monster and press the circle button when the marker is displayed, you'll go into lock-on mode, which means that wherever you move, you'll always turn to be facing your enemy head on. Remember this, it'll make it a lot easier to fight. If you want to change the target you've locked on, tap the circle button. Each time you tap it, you'll lock on to a different monster nearby. When you're locked on, moving the left analog stick away from your target and pressing the X button will make you evade to avoid the monster's attack. This is another cool move, so don't forget it. And finally, here's how to get out of the lock-on mode. Move the left analog stick away from your target and press the circle button. That'll do it. When the fight's looking bad, all you can do is run. But when the enemy's too close, you can't run very fast, so you should try to get away as soon as you can. And when the enemy's nearby, you can't open treasure chests. So either drag the chest away from your enemy, or defeat your enemy first and then open it. In the dungeons, you can use items, even during a battle. But to do that, you need to set the item you want to use as an active item first. The item that you select will be displayed in the active item frame at the top left of the screen, even when you're moving around. Select the active item you want to use by pressing left and right on the directional button and press the square button to use it. Items which you can throw will be thrown as soon as you hit the square button. If you throw them once you're locked onto the enemy, you'll be fairly sure of a hit. There are loads of treasure chests scattered around the dungeons, so you're sure to come across a few. But be careful, cause some of them are booby trapped. If you guess the kind of trap and disarm it, you'll be able to open the chest without anything happening. But if you fail to spot a trap, it'll get you. There 
there are also some treasure chests that are locked. If you have the treasure chest key, that won't be a problem. But if you don't have the key and you force a chest open, you run the risk of setting off a booby trap. Do you know what the red bit is above the monster's HP bar? It's called the Rage Counter, and each time you attack a monster, it decreases by one. If you don't defeat the monster before it runs out, the monster will go into Rage Mode. If that happens, the monster will get a lot stronger, so you'd better not attack it half-heartedly with a weak weapon. In a fight, you could be attacked by things like poison, which will put you in abnormal status. When you go into abnormal status, using normal recovery items like bread won't work. The only thing that will work for poison is the antidote drink. When you're in a particular abnormal status, you'll need the right item to let you recover. When fighting a monster that uses abnormal status attacks, you'd better get yourself the status recovery item before you go in guns a-blazing.